Uh, the second year we've worked to, together um, and I'm delighted with the progress uh, that we've made um, and we're excited about what the future uh, may hold. Uh, our members aspire to play at the very top of professional golf. And these events give them the opportunity to understand uh, really what it takes and what it means to be a global golfer. And the last two weeks are a great example of that. Two different, very, two very different challenges, two very different conditions, two, diff two very different tests. Um, and that preparation and that training that they will experience here will stand them in great stead for whatever the future may bring, um, as they hope to all progress to the higher stages of world golf. The Challenge Tour pathway to the DP World Tour is available to, to everyone playing this week. Challenge Tour member or BDTI member. And I, I hope I don't speak on behalf of SSB and Arjun when I say that if, if that had been available to the two of them at the start of their careers, that would have been an amazing opportunity for them to have had. Just lastly, I'd like to thank RCGC, our Earth Captain, um, and all, all of your members for hosting us this week. First of all, the hospitality and the welcome we, we received has been truly special. It's actually a real honor and pleasure to welcome Challenge Talk and uh, other Indian PGTA players to the World Cup and the World Cup. Interestingly, this is the, uh, after 25 years, we are hosting an international event. 99 was the last Indian Open, and I'm actually quite chuffed to say that the, the winner and runners are both sitting in the podium here. <laughs> 20, 20, 25 years ago, Arjun won the Indian Open and SSP finished second. It was truly an inspirational story then because both of them were from Royal Kakara Golf Club at that time. And it's actually uh, it's quite an honor to have both of them playing this event. And uh, for me personally, because I'm close to both of them, and uh, after 25 years, to do it under my captaincy is, is quite an achievement. On the golf course, uh, we have evolved. We, uh, and this will be actually a, truly a test because we are hosting an international event after such a long time. And it would be uh, interesting for us to see how it sort of plays out against the quality of players that are playing this week. Uh, we've hosted many domestic events in the past, but uh, this is truly a test which, which we want to see how it evolves. I would like to thank both the Challenge Tour again and uh, Karan and the PGTI for bringing this, to, this tournament to us. We are truly honored. First of all, I'm uh, really glad to be home, you know, because this is home. This is where I started golf. First time I played the golf ball was the Royal Mountain Golf Club. And you know, with him talking about the 1999 Indian Open, <laughs> Chow sitting here, to both of us, you know, it just, uh, it's great memories, first of all. You know, it took me back in time and when we were young and had hair and all that stuff. But, uh, no, just really, it's a pleasure to be back home. You know, I'm glad uh, my kids convinced me that, you know, we need to come to India. Uh, and it just so happened that this tournament was this this week where I was going to be home visiting my brother, and I got you know I got really excited about playing. I I know I'm probably the oldest man in the field, uh, <laughs> so expect expectations are low, but we'll see what happens. You know, uh, we'll see. I mean, the thing is, there's there's a thing to be said about experience as well. So you know, I I know every corner of this golf course. Um, I've hit it everywhere on this golf course, so you know I, that's an advantage. But yeah, the new tee boxes, some of the holes being lengthened, you know, it'll uh, it'll be challenging. But you know, I'll, I'll be all right there. Yeah. It was great to have you in the field this week. A good SSP. Um, SSP, tell us how the last year has been and how you're picking up. Uh, uh, Picking up the flow in this part of the year, early in the year. What are your plans? Are you playing much in India? Are you playing overseas? And how is your form coming into this week? Uh, last year I would play India. Uh, this year I'm obviously planning to play India. 
So we'll see because I'm playing good now at what I have team. So and this week is very special for me. Looking forward to it. So, see, see. What do you remember of the, uh, that time? I was like 18 years old. <laughs> so, I could remember so many things. But yes, I was like, uh, when I was finished second, I was like, uh, I said, wow, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you know, so everything was shocking for me. But yeah, it was a great time. And I was playing good. So, and my career changed from there. So, it's just good. I was looking up the Indian Open, the history of the Indian Open. Four runner-ups before you won your match. Yes, I, I was finished four runner-ups. First year was here and then uh, last uh, three years in Delhi. So, yeah. Have you played here? What, have you played the course? What do you think of the course? And what have you heard about how this week is going to be on the golf course? Um, the golf course is amazing. Mm -hmm. Thanks to everyone involved for putting the event up. It's, uh, it's a great test. It's an amazing course. It's way different from last week, if I may compare. And it's it's tight of the team. You know, as the team might not agree, because last time I, hit, I, I played with him, he was hitting every fairway. So I think he's, he's not really understanding what I'm talking about. Um, but for me, it's tight. It's, it's a great test. You have to really think your way around the course. It's in great condition. Sweets are perfect. ریزرویٹلی और इन्होंने स्टार्ट किया था ये प्रोसेस कि ये आपको गोल्फ कोर्स को मेंटेन करना है और टी बॉक्स को ठीक करना है और रेंज को ठीक करना है जितना डिटेल उन्होंने इन्होंने डाला है कोई नहीं डाला और फुल क्रेडिट टू कैप्टन साहब मतलब सारे चीजें अंतरराष्ट्रीय मॉडल के आधार पर पता होना चाहिए ये कोई सलाह देखो देखो मैं तो सोचता हूं कि सबसे बड़ा टूर्नामेंट जो भी हो इंडिया में यहाँ पर जरूर होना चाहिए कम से कम आया नहीं उसकी जैसे पहले ये तो बहुत होता है एक साल दिल्ली में इंसान यहाँ I don't see why के अपने ही करता you know पहले वो देखते थे कि एक रॉयल कंडीशनल चार्ट पर क्या अच्छा नहीं है अब I think देश में नंबर वन कंडीशन बहुत हो सकता है मैं सारे तो नहीं खेला पर जो ओल्ड ट्रेडिशनल डॉल्फिन Yeah, Arjun, here. Yeah. Uh, since this is an Olympic year, how do you see the chances of Indian players uh, qualifying for the Olympics? And uh, what do you think about uh, Aditi Ashok? Aditi, that uh, he, he, he stumbled in the 17th round, the 17th hole. Aditi, last time during this Olympics. What, what do you think about her? Improvement and what are the chances of Subankar Sharma is in a higher ranking state? Okay, so I I think we we have a really good chance in, in the Olympics. Uh, Subankar obviously is a great player, and I've got to know a few of the youngsters now who are, who are coming up from India and the Asian group. I think they're all really really good. And getting to your question about Aditi, I've met her once, and I follow her career as well. She's a hell of a player. You know, she's not very long off the tee, but she hits it really straight. And um, finishing which finish fourth? Fourth in the last Olympics should inspire her that, you know, I mean, one shot here and there, and she's in the medal. You know, so I think she's going to do great things. And even Diksha Dagger, uh, I met her just now for the first time. And she really impresses me as well. She seems like a very fearless girl. And I would think that those two would be uh, uh, medal contenders at the Olympics. And what about Nirban Lahiri? I haven't seen. I, mean, I don't really have watched much of golf, but I know he's playing well there. Uh, but they don't give me world ranking points, so I don't know how he would make the Olympics. You know, so unless he's getting world ranking points in golf, so you'd have to ask Nirban uh, what what he's doing. Do you think the Olympic qualification should be you know regarding? Uh, that's a that's a funny question because uh, 
there's a lot of controversy going on right now about the word ranking points and all that stuff, you know, and I'm trying to stay away from it. So I really don't, I don't really know how the Olympics would include world ranking points or no world ranking points. It would be a tough uh, situation for them as well to put them in that situation. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I think everybody should just get together and come to a conclusion that you know we got to make this work together. Because I have a lot of friends on the Live Tour, as I have a lot of friends on the PJ Tour and the European Tour and the Senior Tour, and to vilify someone, you know, because they're playing a different tour or not getting, I don't, I don't, I don't like the politics of it, and I don't like to get involved in it. I just wish everybody would get together and come up with a solution. That's it. So, based on the rankings, Bhullar and Subhankar, mm -hmm. they stand brightest to qualify. Okay. So, what do you see the chances for the Olympics? Very good. They're both great players. I mean, they're proven winners. They've won on the big stage. Bhullar, I think, has what, Kitna? 90 wins on the Asian Tour or something? Uh, I think I mean, more than 10, 12. 12 uh, Asian Tour wins. He wins almost every year. And Shivankar has played really well as well, so a great British really Open last year. So, you know, they're not afraid, you know, they, they get it going. Because, you know, golf is, is a sport where you have to like the golf course. That week, you have to be on. So if they're on, they can definitely find it. As you have played in, one minute, as you have played in Paris, you have uh, played in Paris, so which course in India is similar to that course in uh, Paris? So that they may practice here. Which one? Which which course in Paris? I played the Lake Golf National. Uh, that's a that's a really tough golf course. I mean, I don't know how you would compare that to this. That's that's a really really penal tough golf course, and uh, it's hard to compare golf courses like that. You know, this is an old, very traditional tree line uh, golf course. You know, and here it's it's about hitting fairways and you know just being patient with yourself because. There's only two par fives, and you know the young modern players like par fives because they, they eat them for breakfast. So uh, this one, you know, you need to be patient a little bit. Completely, you cannot uh, compare the two. So I think uh, the golf is totally a mental game. So you have to be uh, super strong yourself. Like always, you say inside, you know, you are very positive and all. But yeah, Aditi Ashok, she was uh, playing so I think because of the last round, she played back, so uh, could be she can't handle the pressure and all. But it just happens, so it's very normal thing. But I think uh, in future, uh, if you look at uh, uh, last, uh, uh, sorry, uh, if you look at last five to six, seven years, uh, ten years, uh, Indian players are growing a lot, I think. And next, uh, next ten years, I would say, ki, uh, more players will be playing uh, internationally and of course uh, Olympic and, uh, and all. So more, uh, more of our players will participate, the chances of medal winning will come. You have to play more tournament, you have to play more tournament, get the world ranking point and through that you, uh, you will get. After the concentration, anything like yes, that? Yes, 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 uh, because uh, the uh, ball. Do you do yoga or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I do, I do actually yoga, yoga, meditation. Of course, uh, golf-related exercise also different compared to the normal exercises. So, and uh, I think uh, I'm myself. I do all these things. So, I think uh, if uh, any uh, upcoming players they follow all these things, do the meditation, yoga, and golf-related exercise, I think it's helpful.